Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video, and today have a, a topic I want to revisit. It is all about the Troll Tesla. Should you use it at Town Hall 9, 10, 11, even 12? Uh, what are the benefits of it? What are the drawbacks? How does it fit in to an overall strategy of a clan within a war? So these are all important questions we're going to get into. Have some background attacks um, from the One Hive Trinity War, one of their recent wars. Um, but yeah, we're just going to talk through it each Town Hall level and uh, even talk a little bit about how as an attacker you want to you know be aware of the possibility of a troll tesla and what you can do to avoid getting trolled by the troll tesla so let's just go through each town hall level and hopefully i can shed some light on this for you guys starting at town hall nine which is where um it's still important to address still uh, a somewhat relevant town hall level for a lot of clans and uh, leagues and whatnot and at town hall nine not to be cheeky but you're almost trolling if you're not considering using a troll Tesla because Town Hall 9 is significantly easier than it was a few months ago. And you, if you are defending one attack at Town Hall 9, that's pretty good. If your base is not getting fresh tripled in most competitive wars, you know, this isn't counting uh, clans that like only have Town Hall 9s and there's a lot of like level 5 heroes attacking, but for most war clans that have somewhat max uh, troops and bases and they're going against the same thing um, defending one attack is good if you can average each base taking two attacks total then there's going to be no scouts for higher level town halls which assuming there there is those higher level town halls in your wars so defending that first attack is very important because some of your bases will get fresh, but maybe some will also defend three attacks and it'll even out to an average of about two attacks per base, which is what you probably want to shoot for. Um, about a 50% success rate for the other clan. So it's so important to try to defend against that first attack, which is why the Troll Tesla is so good at Town Hall 9, because it helps you defend the first attack when they don't know where the Troll Tesla is. Um, a quick definition, I guess I should throw in here, if you don't know what a troll Tesla is, which you might not, it's putting a Tesla in the corner of the base, and it just messes up the first attacker who doesn't know it's there. If they have hogs or balloons or something left over at the end, um, they have to all go to the corner and get that, so it's trying to make it a time fail, typically, by using a troll Tesla, and it often works. So, like I said, at Town Hall 9, I'd say maybe half your bases if you're really in a, war, a competitive type scene where town hall nines are just getting crushed i would say up to half your bases should have a troll tesla and also i think another thing that's underrated is having multiple troll teslas i feel almost like if you're going to use one you might as well go for multiple possibly even all four in all four different corners of the base you can also put builder huts in the corners and put the troll teslas next to them because that tends to make people think you don't have any troll Teslas if you have a builder hut in the corner, when in reality it can just be like a few tiles over. Um, so keep that in mind. But yeah, um, if you have four troll Teslas, no matter what strategy the attacker uses, it's going to be significantly harder to three-star your base that first attack. Now, in subsequent attacks, your base um, will probably get crushed, uh, but maybe not. If you have, even with, you know, one to four Teslas in the corners, you can still have a solid base other than that. And um, some people like to use Seeking Air Mines in the corners by the Troll Teslas. Town Hall 9, not necessarily a, um, a great idea. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that strategy as we get to the, some of the other Town Hall levels. But I would say don't be afraid to use the Troll Tesla and don't be afraid to use multiple Troll Teslas at Town Hall 9. Okay, I think that covers um, Town Hall 9 for now. Town Hall 10, a little bit more interesting, and it is more dependent on the breakdown of what your clan looks like. So if you have only Town Hall 9s and 10s, like Town Hall 10 is the highest Town Hall level your clan has, then you want to probably not use the Troll Tesla, especially on your top bases, um, because the odds are those are going to be somewhat anti-2 bases. But um, if you have a situation like in... One Hive Genesis, or even in some other uh, types of breakdowns where you have Town Hall 11s and maybe a few Town Hall 12s, 
then you want to be more likely to you want to be more open to the idea of a troll Tesla because your bases are going to be predominantly anti three star because that's your lowest town hall level or even if you have town hall nines town hall 10 is still like a mid town hall level for you so those bases are going to supposed to, it's going to be anti three star also keep in mind if you have a lot of town hall nines below your town hall tens the odds are there's going to be some scouts available and if a troll tesla is revealed on a scout it's really not that effective because then the, the Town Hall 10 attacker, the first one to attack the base as a Town Hall 10 knows where it is. So it's not going to really get as much value as it would surprising a Town Hall 10 in their first attack on your base. So keep that in mind. If there's only like a few Town Hall 9s in your war, which for most clans that probably doesn't apply, but some clans have a heavy breakdown like One Hive Genesis or even like other clans that aren't necessarily in League Wars. If you're in that situation where you don't have many Town Hall 9s, the odds are um, quite a few of your Town Hall 10 bases, especially the lower ones, are going to be fresh hit by Town Hall 10s. And if you see that as a pattern, then you should definitely consider Troll Teslas, especially on those lower level bases. Um, they're likely to get fresh hit. So that's kind of how Town Hall 10 works. There's a bit of dependency. Now, in terms of defending, typically at Town Hall 10, uh, assuming it's you're facing Town Hall 10 attackers with maxed troops and everything and access to the siege machines. Um, defending, I'd say having a base hold up versus three to four attacks is good. You don't want your base going down the first hit, obviously. Going down the second hit isn't great either. You want your base to defend, I'd say, three attacks for like top league wars, like what One Hive Genesis is in. Um, if you're facing somewhat lower level attackers, maybe four. But yeah, anywhere from three to four attacks is good for a Town Hall 10 base. And um, that's a big difference from Town Hall 9, where you're just trying to hold up um, two attacks, one defense, then you can get tripled on the next hit. So now the second attack, you want to also be defending, um, unlike Town Hall 9. And the way that changes things is on that second attack, the Troll Tesla is much less useful because the attacker can just take it out with like a balloon or something. So the Troll Tesla actually hurts your chances very slightly of defending that second attack, but typically it's going to be worth it. Um, sacrificing a little bit of power defensively on your second attack is worth it if it's going to help you avoid being fresh tripled, which is still always a possibility at Town Hall 10, especially with witches and the new siege machines and everything. So I say it's still worth it on a lot of bases. Um, also, you can use a seeking air mine in the corner. Um, I brought that up a little earlier, but I like it especially at Town Hall 10 because you want to defend that second attack too. And um, putting a seeking air mine there can really screw up uh, an attack if they only bring one balloon for it then they might have to waste a valk on your troll tesla or something so that's a good way to basically make the attacker waste five troop space on the second attack because they'll be using a balloon probably for the corner troll tesla and then it goes down to the seeking air mine and that's like kind of a surprise to them so that's something i would consider doing as well but overall um for a clan that has a, a good mix of uh, 12s and 11s and maybe some 9s, maybe 1 in 3, 1 in 4 Town Hall 10 bases should use a Troll Tesla. Um, I would say, unlike Town Hall 9, don't go too crazy, maybe not 4 Troll Teslas, because you want to defend subsequent attacks, you want to defend town uh, 2 to 3 more attacks maybe, so don't go too crazy. One Troll Tesla, just to ensure your base doesn't get fresh tripled. Of course, it's not going to be uh, completely foolproof, but it, it will make a difference, especially in uh, La Luna attacks and in Hog attacks. If you get hit by Witch Bowler, you might get crushed anyway, but that's just the reality at any Town Hall level. So that's Town Hall 10. Um, in terms of Town Hall 11 now, you guys might think, okay, when would you ever use a Troll Tesla at Town Hall 11? Um... You know, sometimes in very heavy breakdown wars like the ones that One Hive Genesis is involved in and other clans that have not many 9s, mainly 10s, 11s, and 12s, you will see the 10s attacking other 10s and then going for 2 stars on the Town Hall 12s, which leaves the 11s to be hit fresh by other 11s and then to be dipped fresh by 12s. So if that's the case, if there's going to be 3-star attacks right from the 
right off the bat on their Town Hall 11 bases. Maybe here and there you can sparingly use a Troll Tesla, um, just depending on the patterns. Um, that's the key at pretty much any Town Hall level. Are the bases getting hit fresh for three stars? If that's the case, the Troll Tesla is fair game to use. So Town Hall 11, don't count it out, but I would use it sparingly. Town Hall 12, I don't recommend at all. Um, the odds are that they're not going to be hit first time by other Town Hall 12s, and even if they are, um, I don't think it's necessarily going to make a big difference using a Troll Tesla, but if you're afraid that the other 12s are just going to come out and try to crush you, maybe consider using it um, to kind of ward off a fresh hit attempt by another 12, but I, I probably wouldn't recommend using it, especially in most clans that have a little bit of a lighter breakdown and maybe only one or two Town Hall 12s. So that's my opinion um, on pretty much every Town Hall level. Hope that helped. If you are the attacker and you're trying to not get trolled by a troll Tesla, um, you can consider saving a hog or a balloon, just being patient, don't deploy them all at once. Just kind of check around the base, especially at Town Hall 9 and 10 where there's more likely to be a troll Tesla, especially Town Hall 9 even. Um, just be very careful um, before you deploy all your balloons or all your hogs. Typically saving one won't make a huge difference. You can always deploy it if there's not a troll Tesla, but if there is, it's great to have one so you don't run out of time. You can drop it directly on the troll Tesla. Also at Town Hall 9, because it's much easier um, and troll testers are used much more, you can even try just dropping four barbs in the corner on a fresh hit. It's only four troop space and it's not gonna break, make or break your attack typically. So often it's worth it just to test with four barbarians if there's any troll Teslas, especially if uh, previous attacks on different bases have shown that they're using a lot of troll Teslas on you. So just avoid the tunnel vision where you're busy deploying things and you don't see what's in the corners. Um, just be very methodical and be safe, especially at Town Hall 9 uh, where there's likely to be troll Teslas. So hope this video helped. Thanks for watching. Very in-depth, um, longer than I thought it would be, but I think I made some good points and you guys can consider these as you're building your bases. I will see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.